Now we're going to take off from where I left off on the first video on uh, what is a base. And we're going to do operations with bases. Operations with base numbers isn't done too much anymore, but I'm going to show you in the 50s and 60s, they actually used to teach this to grade school kids. So let's just say I have 324, and let's say that's base 6, right? And let's say I have, um, oh, let's say 452, and that's also base 6. Now, if I wanted to add these two, I've got 4 plus 2 is 6, but 6 in base 2 is 1, 0, so I carry the 1. Now, I've got 3 plus 5 would be 8 in base 10, but in base 6, that's 1, 6 and 2, 1. So I put down my 2 and I carry my 1, 6. Now, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and again in base 6, that's 1, 6 and 2, 1, so I put my 2 and I carry my 1. So now I have this number here. Now, doing base 6 is a little bit like speaking, let's say, Gaelic. And we consider base 10 English. So let's translate this back into base 10 and see how we did here. Well, we have 6 to the 0, 6 to the 1, 6 to the 2, and 6 to the 3. Now 6 to the 0 is 1, and there are 0 ones, so we have a 0. 6 to the 1 is a 6, and we have 2 of them, so that gives us That gives us 12. And then we have 6 to the 2, that's 36. We have two of those, so that would be like 72. And we have 6 cubed. Let's see, 6 cubed is 216, so we have 1, 216. So now, we want to see what our answer would come out to be in base 10. Well, we have 216 plus 72 plus 12. We add those up, we get 0, carry the 1, and we have 0 again, carry the 1, so we have 300. Now, is our answer correct? Well, let's take a look. We had over in this one, for 324, we have four ones, we have two sixes, which is 12, and we have three 36s, um, which is uh, 108. Now, if we add those up, we end up with 10, 14, and 2, 124. We take the other number here, and in that one, we have two ones, which is 2. We have five sixes, which is 30. And we have four 36s, which is 144. We add these up, we get 6. 7, 1, 176, we add those up, carry the 1, we get 300. So, when we translate our Gaelic problem into English, we find that our answers come out right. So, therefore, we did our base 6 problem right. Now, realize that with practice one could learn to think in base six just like one has learned
to think in, let's say, French or Spanish or Italian. Um, you can really speak the language, you think with the language. Let's face it, we're used to base 10, so we don't really think real well with base 6.